What is going on guys, it is Spartan21 back again with my first gameplay of Black Ops 2. Now you're just like, wow, Black Ops 2 finally came out, and you're a day late posting videos. I know, I actually, I was waiting for my care package to arrive, which I will have that video annotated somewhere on the screen, uh, so you guys can check that out, because that was probably one of the coolest things I've got, but then again, if I would buy it, I would not buy it again because I kind of feel cheated out by the quality of the quad order. I'm not going to get into that because that's kind of a pain in the ass. But what my initial thought of this game was, I was starting to get pissed because I was getting raped. I mean, this game is not easy when you're first starting out. And I should have killed that guy, but I, apparently his skull can deflect bullets. So, But I'm using the PDW-57, which I recommend playing with the f at the first because with the um as you can tell here with the laser sight well not the laser sight but the, yeah, the laser sight and the red dot it makes it a lot easier to maneuver around people and just rape them so um all right let's get into this so this multiplayer is by far one of the most unique call of duty multiplayer experiences i've had I've played pretty much every single multiplayer online. I've, I mean, of Call of Duty, uh, except Call of Duty 2, and I never got to play that, but that's besides the point. But this reminds me of Call of Duty 4, in which I really like Call of Duty 4. Um, it has the, f the nice fast paced feel of, of Modern Warfare 3, which is the only thing I liked about Modern Warfare 3. But it has the sexual feeling of. Black Ops, which was my favorite all-time Call of Duty, other than Call of Duty 4 and World War. So, and in this match, this is actually boot camp, um, which is like the uh, is like combat training for levels one through ten. So you don't have to jump like jump in right into the Shark Tank with all of the you know pro elite players that you know will destroy you. In a matter of moments, even though there's a lot of people in this, <laughs> in the combat training area, uh, that are pretty good, that I have gotten not played by a lot, and it's kind of bad. <laughs> but this is actually the first game I actually got all three kill um, kill streak rewards, not kill streak, but the point streak. Um, what my point streaks are: the UAV, the lightning strike, and the dragon fire drone. And I got to use the Dragon Fire Drone for a little bit, but, I mean, as you can see coming up here in a little bit, um, after this last kill that's coming up here in about uh, five seconds or so, I uh, I just don't know how to pilot those things yet. It's going to take a while if I actually um, get the hang of getting, you know, all those kill streaks. I'm running, I'm going to start letting, running all low kill streaks because I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of the higher ones for uh, quite a while until I figure out how to really play this game to the best of my ability and destroy people accordingly. But overall, I think this is probably the saving grace of the Call of Duty series. This is, um, I really like the color palettes that Treyarch has done. Uh, then again, I love all of Treyarch's games. Uh, I just wish that a lot of them weren't hacked to shit because I'd like to play them again, but See right here, I get taken out by a sniper rifle, which I think is stupid. Get shot by a sniper rifle, and it's all done. And right here, I call in my uh, my lightning strike, and that's pretty cool. I like how that is. It's like the mortar strike, but a lot better, if you could say that, because <laughs> yeah, I can actually get kills with it rather than not getting any kills with the mortar strike. Um, there is a lot of similarities between Black Ops and Black Ops Two. I just um, they're just reskinned in my eyes, but. I'm not going to get into that, and that was probably the coolest part of this whole thing is actually getting to use the crossbow, even though the crossbow wasn't unlocked yet for me. I need to figure out how to unlock the crossbow because I love the crossbow. Um, I actually get to use it in this gameplay. So, alrighty, so 
basically what I'm just gonna be ta um, gonna be posting now is probably kill confirm because TDMs are kind of boring and they take a long time for me to get all of my uh, it takes time to get the um, kill streaks and I don't know what that could do with sliding around for but um, like I said I like playing objective based games I don't like playing just straight up TDM anymore I blame Modern Warfare 3 for that but this I mean this to me is kind of boring because of just running around trying to find people running around trying to find people and that's where the millimeter uh, scope is going to be kind of nice because you can look behind corners and stuff like that, see where people are hiding, and somewhat get the jump on people. And right there is a perfect example why uh, shotguns should should beat SMGs in short range because I mean you have eight pellets in a wide you know wide pattern compared to an SMG shooting in a you know small narrow pattern pattern. If I can speak English right today. So, anyways, guys, um, see right here. This is, I mean, just look how sexy that crossbow looks. Just stick that dude right in the face. <laughs> but I'm I'm on my way to unlocking more stuff. I'm actually right now level 11. I need to play more. I've been playing zombies with um, Mr. Kyle G, and we've been just messing around pretty much with everything else. Um, started the campaign as well. I straight live streamed it as well. That was fantastic so far. I'm really interested in the changing of the story. Like if you fail a mission or fail it or to complete an a uh, an objective, it changes the future. So it's kind of kind of interesting to see what um, what changes happen with every failure I do. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers of, about the uh, the campaign here. Um, I started like in the second mission on my live stream on accident, but you know it is what it is. So, alrighty. So I just want to know hear from you guys what you guys think of Black Ops 2 if you have it already. I want to know uh, what your favorite loadout is. So far, my favorite loadout is this PDW 57. Um, I've been playing with the MTAR a little bit. I Still, I'm pretty iffy on the MTAR. Um, I'm gonna try the SWAT, got that SWAT rifle, whatever it is. I can SWAT 5, 558, I think is what it is. Um, I'm just still working out the kinks of all the weapons and what I want to do. Um, but so far, I've been sticking with this PDW 57. I really like the um, the high mag capacity it has, and just the great hip fire. And I just get blown to shit there, but. Yeah, I just want to hear from you guys on what kind of loadouts you, that you guys are making up and, you know, if you have any tips for me at all for any cool setups for anything. So, I'm probably going to cut myself short here and probably just let the gameplay go through. Um, remember guys, if you like the video, throw a nice like on it because every like does help my channel. And if you think this is uh, a very good gameplay, uh, make sure to give it a favorite because favorites do help as well. I uh, actually go 29 and 9. That is my best game so far on Black Ops 2. So I thought it was good enough to share. So like I said, uh, also follow me on my live stream because I'll be playing this a lot on my live stream. So you can watch me grow as a Black Ops 2 player. And you can go see that at www.twitch.tv slash Zetaspartan21. And also follow me on Twitter to let, to know when I'm streaming and when I post a video. And that is um, www.twitter.com slash thezetaspartan. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to be the meat and potatoes of this commentary. Pretty much the rest is straightforward, kind of boring, and I'm not going to talk about it. So um, like I said, I go 29 and 9. I um, completely rape face with the highest... Um, KD in the lobby so anyways guys that's gonna be it for me um, and that's it have a good one guys